one professional to another group. Right, from one professional to another. Um, we'll move on to uh, MPV's a challenge. And uh, this was, I was going to say this right off the beginning. I think this was my favorite episode of the season. Uh, I was enthralled by this episode. Come on. I mean. Really? For no, this, for this saying, season? I'm saying that that is, um, while maybe worthy praise, the competition wasn't exactly stiff. Well, no, but still, it's just it, it for what it is, for what it is. Right. Um, okay. To boost Ruby team morale, Corey creates Corey's boy camp and Casey hits it right on the head as she describes it as a movie of a team of lovable leaders that try to bring it together. She's right. They do just that and the daily challenge requires challengers to proceed around a wheel suspended over the water while being hosed down by a fire hose, which was hilarious. They have to jump out and retrieve plugs, which the Ruby team retrieves, but Kyle does not jump for it and is DQ'd. TJ then rubs salt in the, into Kyle's wound by calling him out. At the liberation, Egg argues to go in himself, and the agency votes him. The elimination is good old-fashioned pole wrestling. Wrestling, sorry, wrestling. Ed chooses to face off against Kyle, who has beaten CT in a pole wrestle. So that was a dumb decision. And Kyle defeats Ed. Sending home a new fan favorite, and Kyle then describes decides to infiltrate Sapphire because his grandfather told him to on his deathbed because he wanted to like anytime you can join CT, you do that. Uh yeah, this just, was just can I clarify was, something? Yeah, it was yeah. Corey's boot camp, not Corey's boy camp. I say boy camp. Yeah, he did. That made it sound uh, like, oddly sexual. Well. It was kind of that too. Yeah. It was okay. a little, little boy camp. But uh <laughs> baby Yoda on your shirt, I just realized. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, that's awesome. It's like a because he's just peeking, he's just peeking over. So it yeah. Kinda, it's like a chalk. That's why I, said, I think it's like supposed to look like chalk. Anyway. That's cool. Yeah. Um yeah, no, this episode was I thought was about as good as this show can get this season, at least. What did you think, Brent? I'm just like, I'm so unenthralled by the whole spy theme. Like I'm over it. I just want like, give me rivals. Give me battle of the X's. Well, yeah. Yeah. You know, something like that. Like, so every, every episode where they're like, Oh, the agents and the cells have to retrieve the trigger from the bunker. It's like, no, they don't. They have to run across a, a platform that, is suspended over water and grab ropes. Like, let's just call it what it is. We don't need all the pageantry. And it's funny because like very recently in an interview, I can't remember where that uh, Johnny Banana said that it's like, I think people, the fans are like bored of these themes. And it's like, that's why he's the guy yeah. because he understands the, the game inside and out. Uh, the Kyle blowing the... Uh, the daily challenge was just like so like you could just see it coming a mile it was away. so kyle it's so kyle it's very kyle and they really telegraphed it with the whole like they do this it's not like you're not it's it's obvious whenever they show people in the confession or the like the phone call booth it's like okay these people are going to play prominent roles in this episode how's kyle you know we're showing kyle he's seeing the ultrasound how's he gonna fuck this up right right but you know tj too after afterwards doing like this like tj is at this point you know it, it used to be with tj it was just like tj hates quitters and i'm like the cool former bmx guy and that's what tj lavin's situation is and you know now he's like a disappointed father a lot of times oh yeah uh, and i think that is. that's what come on kyle man you you totally blew that you made it harder than it had to yeah. be yeah yeah uh but other than that you know ed uh, ed is a rookie yep and he made three rookie mistakes in this one he made a rookie mistake by volunteering himself to go in he made a rookie mistake by not picking a guy who has a bum leg. And he made a rookie mistake by picking a guy who's never lost at the event that they were doing. And I guess when you're a rookie, you make rookie mistakes. 
Yeah, uh, that's pretty- I don't. <clears throat> As far as Kyle joining the Sapphire team, that was weird to me. Like yeah, I, I get like you, you, you want to be on CT's team, I guess, but I think the Emerald team's won three in a row or two in a row, and they have no glaring weaknesses. Like I don't think that they have like the best person at anything in their uh, six people like they don't have the physically strongest they don't have the best at puzzles because even though Devin's very good at puzzles I don't think he, he's as good as CT but they don't have any weaknesses like they right. have they have Josh for like dumb and tough events yeah. yeah they have Devin for like smart but weak events you know their their three girls are all pretty solid so th- I just don't see any weaknesses on that I mean team, Casey's so. probably the best girl left uh, yeah, I think that's fair. As long as she doesn't get injured, she's probably right. the best girl left. Yeah. But yeah. 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 So for him to go on the Sapphire team was was kind of, I thought it was a given that he was going to swap with Manuel. Yeah. I don't know why he didn't do that. I was just was like. Kind of weird. I thought it made, I, and it, it, it weakened the Sapphire team to the benefit of the Ruby team because now you have Corey and Nelson working together, you know. So, I mean, you know, uh, who would have you like? Obviously, he wasn't going to pick it. He wasn't going to pick. I don't know. I like it was just a bad decision overall by it. I don't, I'm not even trying to like nitpick it. It just it was bad in the moment, and I, I think he just, like he just kept his mouth shut. Like if you don't want to send the guy with the bomb hamstring, I'm sorry. Like that's just the game. The game. Like, that's the game. Yeah. That's the game. That's what That's I mean. What it was said. like, and I said it while we were watching. I was like, I feel like he's too nice of a guy to be on this show. He's well, he's too smart. And so what happens is that he's so smart that he becomes nice, and then he doesn't actually like, you know, this is a guy that actually is like legit has an engineering degree and went yeah. to like an Ivy League school and stuff like this. So he's just trying to think about things like that. It's, I hope he comes back because I think he'll learn. I do from like this. him. And I, yeah, and I like. I him. love him. I think he's awesome. But it's just like one of those things where he'll he'll learn from this. He wasn't gonna. The thing I said after this was he wasn't gonna win this anyhow. So no. if it's just the, if this is the learning experience, he's it, it was a proper like he said it was a proper ass whoopman. Yeah, and yeah, so it's like it one of those things where he learn he learns from this, and he never he will never make this kind of mistake again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't I didn't see the um, next on what uh, anything there that there I'll, I'll be honest the next on was pretty boring it was a lot of like just people flying around but not yeah anyone no one was screaming at anyone which threw me off I was like I need people screaming at each other in every next on well we know Nelson now, hopefully it's and about Kyle. mac and cheese. Yeah. Well, we know Nelson and Kyle get into it and right. we have a probable reason as to why now. So that might show up, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, I just, I, at some point the green team will lose a daily challenge, but they the just, look, team. yeah, the green team, they will, um, they will lose a, a daily challenge and subsequently, you know that'll shake things up a little bit, but they look really tough, tough to beat. You they know? look really good. Yeah, they're really and good. The question, the question at the end of the day is going to be, you know, when you get to the final, then what? You clearly they're not going to be running it as teams. It's an individual game no. that was said. So, you know, we probably have about night. I think we have about nineteen more episodes left of yeah. this. So right, right. <laughs> more yeah. episodes than players left but still. yeah somehow they'll they'll figure out it, it uh the challenge it stretches like math uh, uh moving the challenge. on oh the french 